Hey guys, Corrosive here. I have a quick little video that I thought everyone would enjoy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am quite interested in satellite communications, and so what you're looking at here is a broad spectrum of some UHF SATCOM. Uh, this video is really going to be a big thanks to one of our community members, O2EKO, uh, who happens to have an air spy that he set up on a spy server for me so I could actually pull this up remotely as I don't currently have you know, a good antenna and location to pull down this type of signal strength. Um, now I do like to focus on these personally um, just because they are in the UHF band um, or the low VHF depending who you ask. Um, they're right in that sweet spot where you can pick them up uh, without having a lot of fancy equipment. So um, what I wanted to show you here is kind of a bit of the layout of the bird as well as uh, some of the signals that we see within here. Um, give you a quick little rundown. So you see we have all these different lines just kind of following with my mouse. These are all uh, transponders on various UHF satellites. Now I'll put a link in the description to uh, what satellites these might be. Um, you can kind of correspond the signals uh, or the frequencies to those um, <clears throat> as well as a video to our community members YouTube page or rather a link to his page. Um, what I wanted to show you in particular, uh, I just find this very interesting. So this is one of the transponders. If I recall uh, from the documentation, these are about 30 kilohertz wide each. Um, you'll notice though, there's actually a lot of pirate radio activity going on with these. And I find it very interesting if you look at these different transponders, uh, let me zoom into one, you can see uh, the characteristics of the transmitting radio. So while the uh, transponder may be 30 kilohertz wide, somebody might only be transmitting a narrowband FM at 12 and a half kilohertz. So you might see them off on the left or right side bands of the transponder. They might be right down the center. Some people are using FM. Some people are sending digital data like uh, slow scan TV or RIDI. And then there's also valid uh, military uh, communications, though those are almost always encrypted. So uh, the real fun here is just looking for the different pirate activity and seeing these characteristics in the transponder. So you see here um, where there's actually somebody currently talking on this transponder. And let me go ahead and we'll zoom in a bit more. And let me go ahead and just unmute and we can take a listen. We'll move over here now. I'll try to keep this audio at a, a suitable level for you guys. No idea what any of these guys are saying, but uh, it sounds like they have some interesting conversations, to say the least. Let's move over to another transponder here. Uh, he must have a weak uplink there. I can't really make it out. And that might just be a spike. So let's move up the band. There are other things that we can see here. Um, there might be multiple operators in a uh, transponder. This one here appears to have some sort of data. So we're just kind of exploring a bit and uh, showing off the, the uh, different characteristics you see within these transponder bands. Uh, let me go ahead and mute here again. We're going to zoom back out. Uh, there is quite a lot to look at, and there is more than one satellite within view here. So let's see. You can see there's some stuff over here, some of the weaker transponders. Um, but I mean, it, it's, the band's just completely filled. Uh, we'll move up the band here a bit more. Got a couple more transponders over here. Um, sometimes you get those close clusters together, and then uh, you know this could be you know the space between one satellite and another it could be various n number of things. 
Uh, here's another one that looks like it has some pirate activity. We'll move over here for a moment. up a bit more here see what we can find I tried to make this video yesterday but it was like 10 p.m. Eastern and there was almost no activity on the satellite uh, you could see the transponders coming down uh, they are you know always active um, unless they're you know manually shut down but uh, there just wasn't any uh, real activity nobody was talking on them um, so you can just kind of see that background noise uh, from the uplinks so and let's see I guess there is a bit more up here. I haven't uh, moved too far up the band to see what all there is. Uh, he definitely has a much better view of the sky than I do, um, and certainly some better equipment and uh, LNAs on there. Let's see what we found over here. That's some type of digital data. Might even be legitimate traffic. It's hard to really make it out. Quite a few things going on in this transponder. Let's try and get a closer look. We might have two separate people on it. It could be data. Move over here and see. There are some pretty strong signals. Uh, I think they're closer to the 255 range, so I'm actually going to move down here. Maybe the 254, see if I can find it again. Uh, it's a wider signal than we can uh, easily demodulate within something like uh, SDR Sharp, but I wanted to try and find it real quick to show you what that looks like. Uh, I may not be able to all that quickly, but um, just kind of move around the band here, see what else there is. There's a bit more data. Uh, it is hard to kind of do this on the spot because uh, you can't really plan on when a pirate's going to be, you know, doing slow scan or, or who knows what else on the satellite. So you kind of uh, just kind of get whatever you can. Uh, there is a couple of transponders here, and you can see how, you know, when nobody's talking on it, you've got this wide 30 kilohertz span, and then, you know, in the center we have somebody who's actually keying up about 12 and a half kilohertz, that'd be your FM audio. So we'll kind of tune in here for a minute. And there's definitely somebody getting in, but can't really make him out. And this one's very strong, and it seems to be taking up most of this particular transponder's bandwidth. We'll have to turn it up a little bit. Of course, I've heard music on this thing. I've, I've seen slow scan. Um, and there's also what a lot of people describe as the, uh, the water droplets. And that was what I was trying to find. Um, it's actually a legitimate signal from the satellite. Um, and I don't recall where it is on the band. So I mean, you could have people using this. Um, you know, like I said, there's legitimate traffic on here. Um, I've heard that uh, drug cartels take advantage of it. Um, I've seen um, all kinds of very interesting things going on, um, as well as you know, just families trying to talk to each other because there's not uh, great communications available otherwise. Now, in my part of the world, it's usually people speaking in Portuguese over in Brazil. In uh, O2EKO's part of the world, I'm genuinely not sure. Um, I know that these do have a pretty large footprint, so um, 
you know, maybe one of the viewers uh, listening into some of the stuff I'm tuning in might have a better idea of what's going on. If you want to post that in the comments uh, to just kind of enlighten us, that would be cool. Uh, just to see, you know, if it is the same language or if there's somebody, uh, something else kind of going on in those areas. Or maybe somebody that's just more uh, aware of what's going on on these uh, satellites here. But uh, we'll tune around a little bit more before we hop off. And, uh, you know, let me know if you're interested. Maybe we can do these sessions a little more often and see what else we can find. I'm gonna mute it for a minute. Let's see if we can find that waveform I was talking about earlier. We might not be able to, but we're gonna take a look. Yep, oh, yep. Here's one of them. So we'll see if I can get the audio. Like I said, it does not fit within um, a narrow band filter here, and I don't have any demodulator or decoder for it. But we'll try to take a listen. And that's generally what I would hear is something like that on my uh, FM transceiver if I was listening from uh, my amateur radio um, handheld. It basically sounds like this when I'm tuned into one of these so-called water droplet channels. And that's kind of where it gets its name, both in the sound as well as uh, how it shows up on the waterfall here. Um, some type of sp uh, spread spectrum, as far as what this is, I'm not uh, entirely sure. Uh, I believe it's some type of uh, telemetry as far as the, the health of the satellite. Um, but I can't say that I uh, know with any amount of certainty there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's more or less it. Um, as I tune up and down the band, you know, I'm just trying to find a bit of digital for you guys to listen to. Maybe uh, decode uh, some slow scan images would have been cool. Um, just there's so much on these satellites, uh, so much, you know, many different pirate users. Uh, it's really hard to kind of narrow it down to a particular thing and, and try to find that, uh, you know, uh, at least, you know, my side of the world, I can usually tune into 255.550. There's almost always somebody talking there. There's occasionally slow scan. Um, I'm not familiar with uh, O2 EKO's side of the world, so I don't really know where to look for those types of things. He's in a completely different area from me, so, uh, you know, what he has over there is definitely going to differ from what I have. But um, these satellites are, you know, a pretty large constellation. You've got U.S. satellites, uh, U.K. satellites, um, and just general uh, UHF uh, transponder-based satellites for communications of governments all around the world. So um, regardless of where you are in the world, more than likely you're going to have some of these satellites available that you could uh, listen into. And uh, he's really just using a directional antenna and an LNA. So uh, as long as you know where to point it, uh, you're going to be able to find some interesting stuff. So again, I will be leaving um, information back to his YouTube channel as well as uh, where you can find some information on these satellites and kind of give you an idea of where to tune around to find some interesting things. So um, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, you know, If you found this interesting, let me know. I would love to do more videos like this in the future. And uh, with that, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.